Settle down, settle down. Good morning, class. Good morning, teacher. Today is all about crisis-sensitive planning in education. So first things first, the why. Why is protecting schools so important? Uh, because, because it helps children to achieve their dreams. It's a safe event for our children. School makes me feel like I'm at home. We grow together as a community because of our school. It makes me feel happy because I always play with my friends. I love seeing my best friend happy. She feels a lot of joy in my heart. I feel a lot of joy in her heart. Schools are a beacon of hope in a society. I get to learn new things. I will get to be a pilot and I will pass with flying colors. You're sharp today, everyone. Yes, universally, schools are the beating hearts of societies. And despite some being more prone than others, ultimately, crisis and disaster could happen in any school anywhere in the world. You don't know if something harmful is going to come and hurt you out of nowhere. No, you don't. But when education systems are resilient, schools are not only prepared for crisis and disaster, but become a tool in preventing them. Sounds good, right? So now on to the how. How do we prepare for the unexpected? Flexibility makes you shine. You just find another way to be strong. Get prepared for the unbelievable. Have a lot of plans. Always believe I can do this and that. Yes, wise words. UNESCO's International Institute for Educational Planning, IIEP, works to strengthen education systems globally through crisis-sensitive planning, working with countries to one, identify and analyze risks and capacities to prevent, prepare for, and respond to crisis. So knowing what you have to work with, think through what you might have to deal with. You got it. And then two, develop and implement plans to prevent, prepare for, and recover from crises. Be your best self so you're always ready. So you're prepared? Yes, first learners we have here. And three, monitor and evaluate crisis prevention and response and build an evidence base. Being the change you want to see, you just plan plan B and find another way. So that I can keep learning. Full marks. And last but not least, four, Build equity and resilience both in and through education. Let's see what? What is that? I don't know what resilience means. If I keep on pushing harder, maybe I'll be able to answer your question. To try your best. Some great answers for this crisis-sensitive planning stuff. Implementing these key steps, IIEP UNESCO works with multiple players to strengthen and transform education systems. Data is key in crisis-sensitive planning at all levels of education because it guides the response. We have the resources, power and systems in place to protect the most vulnerable in our society. Collaborating with local leaders to ensure there is political dialogue and a common vision is vital. Education is a right for every child. Crisis-sensitive planning requires clear communication, flexibility and understanding from the parties involved. Schools are a place for bringing everyone together. Crisis-sensitive planning in education leads to real, transformative change across a whole system. Crisis and disaster could happen anywhere, but everywhere, education is a life-saving and life-sustaining right. Yeah,